right, you guys. So it's been about a week and a half and my family tree DNA kit came. I just cut the package open and took it out the box. Now, what I want to know is, can you guys see this? The seal is broken. Is it supposed to be opened like this when it arrives? Why would the seal be broken? Did they have to open it and put something in it for me? What's the deal? All right, so it says, hello, let's begin. Family tree DNA, please follow these instructions carefully and keep this card with your important documents. All right, so I'm reading this for the first time when I'm posting, when I'm recording this. It says, first things first, verify the kit number. The kit number on both vials should match the kit number on the green consent form. If the kit numbers do not match, please contact our customer service and they provided the number. Sign into your account. Make sure you can sign into your account. Your kit number is needed to sign into the account, into your account. Uh, if this was a gift, the email used to purchase your kit will be associated with your account. Please contact the person that purchased the kit and request that they send you the password so that you may sign in to change your account information. All right. So it says here, do not eat, drink, or chew 60 minutes prior to swabbing your cheek. So I'm going to have to wait because I just had lunch. Place the unopened swab and vials on a clean level surface. Remove the swab from the package and firmly scrape the inside of one cheek while rotating the swab for 45 seconds. Open the vial. Insert the swab. Swab tip down. Align the black line of the swab on the edge of the vial and snap it. If um, Snap it off with the swab tip remaining in the vial's liquid. You know, while I'm reading, I was thinking about something. Like, man, I was about to go to the post office, but now I'm going to have to wait an hour because I need to wait. All right. So it goes on to tell you about the steps uh, in this packet. And important reminder, sign consent form, uh, U.S. customers return, postage is prepaid, mail the samples back in the prepaid return envelope provided by us. And they did provide that. I'll show it to you. Customer, um, international customers, it says return shipping is not included. The return envelope qualifies as a partial, not a letter. Ensure appropriate postage for a partial is applied for delivery may be delayed. Okay. They have their little contacts at the bottom here for Twitter, Facebook, and Insta. And the hashtag is family tree DNA and at family tree DNA. So here is the return shipping label, which is cool. DNA processing consent form. They need your consent to do whatever it is that they are going to do. That's another video. Here are the cotton swabs. And here are the vowels. Okay. All right. So that's everything. This is my kit. It arrived. Like I said, it took about a week and a half to get here. Um, I did have to pay. Hold on, you guys. Okay. So like I was saying, I did have to pay uh, for the shipping to come come back i guess that shipping to get the kit here to my home and then after that i i do believe that a fee was included so i can go ahead and send this as a as a partial um post where well, it says no post is necessary so first class package so yeah so that's that um the reason why i decided to do this i've been putting it off for years but the reason why I decided to do it now is because I am making some. Oh! No, 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 no! <laughs> A bee almost came in here. I've decided to make some changes in my life. Um, and in order to make those changes, I need clarification. That bee was at the door. I really hope I didn't kill it. Because, I mean, it was on the door. Like, I've never seen a bee try to come that close in my house. I've had my door open before. <sighs> so, 
So anywho, <laughs> I am not editing that out. You know, guys, real life things happen. So yeah, um, in order for me to make the prevalent moves that I need to make, I need to be able to make that decision uh, based upon some results that I'm going to get from taking this test. Um, I had my reserves about it, like, oh, sending DNA off to people and things and that through the mail. And I understand, but I can't, I can't keep letting that deter me. And then if you think about it, when you go to the doctor anyways, you give blood, urine, if you're getting your test ran and all of that stuff. So they have it anyways. They have it anyways. So that's it. That's how I feel about that. This is part one. I am going to give you guys an update when I send everything off and let you know what happens. I'm excited. Peace and blessings. All right, you guys. So I read you guys the directions and I am back to do my swab for my DNA kit with a uh, family tree DNA. Let me put it up here. I still was a little concerned as to why this was open before I got it. But everything else is fully sealed. All the valves are sealed. Oh, they do have a little fluid in it. That's probably why they had to open it. But I will find out. So, alright. So, the direction said that I need to place these contents on a flat surface and then open this up. As soon as I figure out how to get it open, we'll get started. All right, so the instructions say place the unopened swab and vials on a clean surface and then remove the swab from the package and firmly scrape the inside of one cheek while rotating uh, the swab for 45 seconds. So I'm going to start now. It's 45 seconds. Goodness gracious. All right. So then it says that I need to take it and put it in here. And this is supposed to snap. So I stick it in here, snap it off. So I, ba I broke it from there and put it down in here and close it up. Now I need to repeat for the same, same thing on a different side. All right, and we are going to go now. All right. All right. So here is the other tube. Put it in there. This one has bubbles. Snap it off. Put it in here. Close it up. Now I have two valves. Both of my pieces are in there.
This is the bag that they send it in. I dropped both my valves in there. Now, I'm pretty sure I have to put my contents in here too. This is the consent form. All right. So what the consent form says is DNA processing consent form. By signing this consent form, you consent to a family tree DNA's processing of your DNA data and other sensitive information, such as your ethnicity, national origin, and health history too. Convert your physical sample into DNA data. Use your DNA data to provide, your rep provide you reports about your ancestral origins in the form of ethnicity estimate, geographic <laughs> estimate, <laughs> subregion, geographic subregion details, and migrations, as well as personal insights related to your ethnicity, places or origins, ancestors, individual traits, and characteristics. Invite you to participate in optional surveys and questionnaires through which we may gather more information personal for additional uh, personal information for additional insights. Identify your potential relatives in your DNA database by comparing your DNA data to other family tree DNA users DNA data. Use your DNA data family tree details and other personal info to help you discover why is this on here twice. Okay, here we go. Let's go down to the next one, including ancestors and you may share with others. Provide consent quality and improve um, family DNA products, features, and services. Help create new product features and services, including products related to wellness and health. I consent to the collection and processing of the DNA data and other personal information for if submitted a sample that is not yours, you must have legal authorization to give consent to this person. Donor's name, donor's date of birth, donor's sex, donor's signature, or parent guardian if you're not old enough. If you do decline to give consent to the DNA processing consent, you will not be able to have your DNA data processed and therefore will not be able to receive your DNA test results. Donor's date of birth is required on this form for legal process and will not be shared publicly. If you are between the ages of 13 and 17, you must have a parent or guardian sign this form. So again, this is the form. And I feel like I need to go rinse my mouth out because it was some kind of salt or something on those swabs. So that's it, you guys. Thanks for taking this journey with me. I appreciate it. Next time I come back, I'll be on here giving you guys some kind of update. So thank you. Peace and blessings.